be knocked on it. But whatever. Anywho, I am Chappie, and I'm going to do a review of my brother's movie posters. So, the first one that we have here is Fat Albert. Now, do not make fun of him because he's chunky, because that's very rude, and it is just not accepted or tolerated. So, anyways, this is a movie from the comedic mind of Bill Cosby. It is about a large man and his friends who escape the TV set somehow without getting stuck. And they come into the real world with us and they help out this, this young woman with all of her problems and then they go back into TV. And not before he gets selfish and wants to stay. So yes, Fat Albert. I give it five tacos out of five. <laughs> And he is very handsome. He's from, it's that uh, Keenan Thompson guy, you know, from Good Burger. Hey, welcome to Good Burger Helmet. Home of the Good Burger Helmet, I hope you. Yeah, that guy. He was pretty good in that. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, Fat Albert. Next up is Lion King from Walt Disney Pictures. It's presenting it. Two disc special edition. Isn't that wonderful? It's about this lion with nice mane hair and a little baboon. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And he's holding a little baby. And so it's about this little baby lion is born and his dad's the big important guy. And then his uncle's an evil poop face and he tries to like get the uh, killed oh crap i ruined the movie i'm sorry i'm sorry okay anyways then he like leaves and goes far far away and he meets this little midget rodent thing of a bobber and this big fat wart pig and then he ends up coming back and i've totally ruined this movie for you so i hope you've already seen it but i would give it a i would say i'd give it a tin flag out of five yeah, I think that's what I'd give it. And it's a really good movie. It's cute. It is so adorable. And if you have children, they should probably watch it because it's it's just too cute. It's a little baby and the little baboon. And you know what? It's featuring an all new song. This is an old classic with a new twist. <laughs> How crazy is that? First time ever on DVD. October 7th but that's already passed so don't wait till October 7th because it's already out and the king of animated features the king of DVDs yeah okay well that's a cute little rodent and a cute little bird okay take what you nerdy people like. Like the posters about comic books and video games, you know, that stuff. And right now we're going to be talking about Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Well, they're obviously talking about this little kid right here because we all know kids are menaces. Those little poopers. <laughs> Smelling their macaroni all over my room. Coloring all my walls. Oh, and this is, um, Anakin Skywalker. Spoiler alert, he's Darth Vader. You owe me one cannoli and, uh, some weird, weird name. What? I don't know. I do not know the name of that man with the nice beard. I like his beard, though. And this is Princess Padme with two random red dots on her cheek. Who knows why? But guess what? I used to have a dog named I used to have a dog named Padme. And she used to tinkle all over the house for no reason. Like you just walk up to her and she's like, Oh, I'm so excited to see you, I'm a little puppy. And she goes and tinkle like, Oh no, Padme, did you just tinkle on the floor? And then it'll just run away. And I don't know what happened to that dog. It was really fluffy, and I one day I went out there and it just disappeared. So it's really sad. 
Um, anyways, the first, be the first to own on DVD April 4th. Do you hear this, people? April 4th. Except for sorry it happens, so go right now. Now, you can reserve your copy today. And they get these cool little thing bobbers, these little uh, vehicle movie fasty things with dust behind them. That's how fast they're going. Yeah. Anyways, like I said, Darth Vader. Anakin Skywalker equals Darth Vader. Big surprise. And he has a nice beard. That is all. Just kidding, it's me! This is this is our zoology animal and stars segment where we talk about animal movies with animals as a star. Clever, I know. Now the shaggy dog, Walt Disney, and it has Tim Allen. What's better than that? And it has a dog with blue eyes. Um, it says unleash the fun. <laughs> what a clever little pun thing. <laughs> Anyways, it's a movie about this guy and somehow he turns into a dog and I'm not sure how but I'm really jealous because I wish I could turn into a dog or cat or bird or, or chinchilla. I love you chinchilla. I want to be you. I love you chinchilla. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, he turns into a dog somehow. I, I don't know how that works. I wish it did. I really do. And it's going to be a rough day. I just saw that. <laughs> a rough day. You can see the dog and rough. <laughs> That's hilarious. And, um, yeah, it's called a shaggy dog. Because <laughs> it's a shaggy dog because it has long hair. Yeah, that's it for right now. Eat you. Zombie land. It is this epic movie um, about zombies. And they take over because there's this plague thing. And they take over the whole everywhere. And so there's this kid and he's like going, trying to survive against the zombies. And then there's this guy who likes Twinkies a lot. And it's her and her and whatever. Anyways, and this kid, um, it looks kind of like they're trying to like, you know, get the role or have Michael Sarah in it, you know, character-wise, but he was just too good for them because, you know, I'm going to marry Michael Sarah someday and then my last name is going to be Sarah Sarah and that's going to be epic and awesome because I'm going to work at Sarah Sarah's Cupcake because that's a real place and my name is going to be Sarah Sarah because I'm going to marry Michael Sarah because... This is the way the cookie crumbles. I'm sorry. So, anyways, it's a great movie. I would give it like 50 billion sombreros out of five. Seriously, I like it. Super bad meets Shaun of the Dead. I don't understand that, but apparently it's supposed to be clever. So, whatever. It's on Blu-ray, DVD, and PSP. And as you can see in the background, they're in a little amusement park. Because everybody likes amusement parks. It's just back to life. Jeez. Anyways, he's a lot like my husband, Michael Sarah, who I'm going to marry someday. He just doesn't know it yet because it's going to happen and he just doesn't know. Okay. All right. And she's in that new movie, Easy A, and it looks really good. 